Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a fancy robe. I started by centering this project, so I mean I put one sleeve inside the other sleeve and I lined up all the seams. And then I'm going to spiral it up. So technically, when you have a folded shirt and you spiral it, it would be a spider spiral, but I'm going to be doing the dye differently, so it's just a spiral. And I'm using the microwave splatter guard because I tried doing it just by hand and it wasn't working out very well, and the splatter guard just made quick work of it. And when I clamped down the hemostat, I chose a thick part of the lace because the other part of the material is like a mesh. Is it called tulle? I don't know what it's called, but it's extremely delicate. And I thought for sure I would tear a hole in it. So again, choose a nice thick part of that lace and then just spiral it up. And I like to secure my projects with rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. It's just a matter of preference. By the way, the link for this robe is listed down in the description box along with everything else that I use for tie-dye and they all have clickable links. And if you ever notice one of the links doesn't go to the right thing, will you please let me know so that I can fix it? All right, awesome, thank you. Using a washable marker, I'm going to mark out my pattern. And the spiral is up there at the top because it's folded in half. So the pie pieces are going to be funny shapes. But I'm going to make six pieces of the pie because I'm going to be using the six colors of the rainbow. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And this is my favorite part of tie dyeing. I don't quite enjoy tying things up. I just like getting my hands dirty. So I'm starting with the primary colors, the red, the yellow, and the blue, because that way when they meet in the center of the spiral, hopefully they're gonna make the secondary colors, which is the orange, the green, and the purple. I'm trying to avoid the brown. And I also chose a pretty large piece of the pie, well, the spiral, you know, a big piece of the pie of the spiral for yellow, because for those of you that follow along, you know that yellow has a tendency to vanish on me. So I'm trying to give it a fighting chance to stick around. While you're watching me add the dye, I'm just gonna take a moment to talk about the YouTube shorts. Some of you have seen them. Not many people are watching them. Uh, those are the little 60 second shorts videos that YouTube kind of wants creators to make. I think they're trying to be like TikTok and I want you to know that I'm not going to abandon making full length tutorials. I'm here to try to teach and to help others learn how to make tie dye and I just cannot teach that in 60 seconds. So I do appreciate those of you that watch the channel regularly. I know that you've already seen the full length tutorial, but if you could just click on those and give them the 60 seconds and a thumbs up, it really helps get the content out there. Again, that's what all this is about, is reaching as many people as possible so everybody can learn how to tie dye. So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate the support. Because this is such a delicate project, I'm using another rack to help flip it over. And then I'm just going to repeat the dye process on the back side exactly the same as I did on the front side. Now if this was a spider like I had mentioned earlier, we'd do a black back. But I just didn't want that for this project, so again, just repeat it on the back side. So 
so yesterday I asked what we should name this mannequin and it looks like Bella is the front runner for names and it does make sense you know Laura had a good point Bella Donna Bella it just seems like the name that she should be and then my mother said Bella means beautiful and that also makes sense so I think we're probably going to end up naming her Bella but I'm gonna sleep on it for a few days and see if it sticks these foil pans from the dollar store they will leak after a few uses so it's really important that you put them down inside of a plastic tote or something because you do not want to come back the next day and find that your project has leaked all over the place then you want to cover it and let it batch for 48 hours. The reason I'm batching for 48 hours is because our temperatures here in Oregon are a lot cooler than they were during the summertime. And I want to make sure that I'm having the maximum vibrancy, especially with a project that I've never tried before. I don't know how the fabric is going to react. So the full 48 hours, you're pretty much guaranteed to have good results if the material is going to take the dye. You want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. And then I put this in a garment bag because it's delicate and I took it to the washing machine and I did a couple hot water cycles and I used Synthropol and I used Millsoft and I get those from Dharma and it takes just a little bit. So read the instructions and then probably use half of that amount. And then for this one, I let it air dry because it's delicate. And then once it's dry, we'll come back and see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our fancy robe after it's been washed and air dried. And it turned out great and it's really vibrant. I love a good rainbow and the pattern on this is really pretty. The mesh areas do take the dye, but not as well as the lacy parts do. Um, overall, I'm super happy with it. I'm going to make more. I do like this rainbow and you could just scrunch it up or use any colors you want. I just happen to love rainbows. And also when you're trying something new, you know, I know that I can make a rainbow work. So I don't want to test something out with a color I've never used before because if it goes wrong, then I won't know why. So what do you guys think of this? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all that way you get notified of future uploads and remember have fun tie-dyeing <laughs>